Now, the 13th National People's Congress, the highest Chinese body exercising legislative powers, began its session today at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. It is set to change the party constitution so as to prolong the rule of President Xi Jinping. Now, the NPC is expected to scrap the presidential term limit to facilitate Xi's to rule for an indefinite period. But the move, which is controversial even in China, has helped cement Xi Jinping's status as the most powerful leader after Chairman Mao Zedong. Premier Li Keqiang presented a government work report. The biggest takeaway was a hike in budget spending. Li said China will strengthen its air and naval defense as it grapples with fresh security challenges. He said China will advance all aspects of war preparedness and military training as it strengthens its armed forces, border, coastal and air defenses. The report comes even as the session is to revise China's constitution to scrap presidential term limits and consolidate President Xi's hold on power. The defense budget has been hiked to 8.1% even though spending slowed in the previous two years. Beijing will now spend 175 billion US dollars on its military. China spent 151 billion dollars on the People's Liberation Army last year, the second largest defense budget in the world. But still, four times less than the $603 billion U.S. defense budget. Now, China has also set a growth target of around 6.5%, which is equivalent to last year. It also lowered the fiscal deficit target to 2.6% of GDP, compared to 3% in the past two years. Dangda 有利于維護以習近平同志為核心的黨中央權威和統一領導,有利於加強和完善國家領導體制. The Party Congress also discussed US decision to impose a 25% tariff on imported steel and a 10% tariff on aluminum to protect US-based producers. Now Li said China does not want a trade war with the United States and will take measures to safeguard its interests. All right, we on senior editor Surya Gangadran joins me now for more on the story. Good evening, Surya. A hike in Chinese defense budget, what does it mean for India and the world at large? Well, obviously, this is something that was anticipated given the fact that uh, last year the budget was around $151 billion. And if you've been following the Chinese media, there's been a constant reference to the uh, threats China is facing, <clears throat> including, of course, the Doklam uh, standoff and the need for China to scale up its uh, defense uh, modernization. And this has been one of uh, President Xi Jinping's uh, core areas of focus. Uh, modernize military in the next 20 odd years. So uh, this is obviously in line with um, that kind of thinking and we can expect uh, China to go forward in um, uh, developing its uh, first nuclear powered aircraft carrier. There's a lot of other work going on a lot of other areas including anti-satellite weapons, uh, cyber warfare, uh, very very high-tech areas where India really has uh, major challenges to uh, face up to. So clearly the uh, threat levels go up. Uh, it's not that China is already right now with all these weapons at its disposal. It's going to take time to develop them, uh, train its people to handle it and implement them. So we do have a window. But clearly the uh, benchmarks are being set by the Chinese. We have to measure up. Also, Surya, the U.S. is by far the largest spender on defense. But that said, 
How would this decision by Beijing go down in Washington in terms of uh, the, the competition in space or for that matter in cyber security also in the South China Sea where China is accused of militarizing it over the last several years now? Well, if you recall, uh, President Trump in his uh, national security strategy had outlined uh, the reasons for uh, asking uh, for more uh, money for the defense budget and that he uh, named Russia and China as competitors. Uh, clearly, the focus is more on China at this point because uh, there are serious challenges the U.S. Navy is facing in the South China Sea, uh, largely because China has been militarizing islands there. And uh, they are pursuing a kind of an area and uh, air uh, defense, um, you know, a denial strategy, which, is, uh, which the U.S. is seeking to counter. So the U.S. hopes to scale up its own uh, conventional and nuclear forces. And um, I believe their budget could be around $700 billion. So clearly, they are far ahead of the Chinese, even technologically and otherwise. But the Chinese are catching up. It's a lesson for America. Right. Lesson for America, says Surya Gangadharan. Surya, thank you so much for joining me on Beyond Dispatch. That was my senior colleague, Surya Gangadharan, with all the latest.